European markets posting solid gains today while kind of shrugging off Standard Poor's downgrade punch to the continent on Friday. And Lee Munson, founder and chief investment officer of Portfolio LLC, says despite the widespread downgrades, American investors may want to take a risky plunge into <laughs> Europe to earn some big gains in 2012. This on a daily where the EF... I keep saying EFSF, but it's European Financial Stability Fund. The thing that was supposed to prop up Europe right. has just lost its triple A rating. Why are you bullish on Europe right now? Well, I don't think that they should deserve any type of AAA rating if the United States doesn't get it. Okay. Here's the bottom line. Europe, and, and what I'm talking about is specifically the big mega corporations, the Dow Jones, Eurostock 50. It's like the Dow Jones Industrial Average for Europe. It's priced historically based on earnings for a deep recession or a depression. Now, in your last segment, even OPEC was talking about a softening economy in Europe. Unless we have a complete and utter breakdown and blow up in Europe, I think that Europe is too cheap. It's got great dividends. It's got cheap valuations. The problem? It's twice as volatile as the S&P 500 here. So it's not really apples and oranges. It's a risk play. Now, Lee, even at these valuations, it is a risk play, a big risk play. So you shouldn't put all your eggs in this basket. How many no. of your eggs? Are you talking about 5 percent, 10 percent, what? Well, you know, for the last two years, I've had my clients completely out of Europe. I have no European exposure for the last couple of years. So now that we're going back in, because remember, most people, they get those pie charts from a stockbroker, and it says, have so much in international. We have, we're starting from zero. I think people should think of anywhere between maybe 5 to 10 percent of owning this, because remember, this is even 30, 40 percent more volatile than emerging market stocks. Mm -hmm. So if you don't need risk this year, stay away from Europe. Let it do what it's going to do. But if you want to get the juice, instead of putting money in emerging markets or the latest hot fad, look at some of these really good, yet volatile, big stocks. Some of them are paying 5 6 7% dividends, okay, a lot okay, better like, than the Dow Jones. When I'm thinking of European names, I'm thinking Siemens, SAP, um, Total, the, the French um, oil well, company, or some of the banks. I don't know. Do you want to touch European banks right now? I prefer not to. That's the one thing when you buy the ETF, there's about 18 to 20 percent exposure financials. I think that it's not money that's going to get worse, but I think it's fairly dead money. But if you want to go in and be a stock analyst and pick and choose, I would say don't. But these are companies like GlaxoSmithKline, British Petroleum, BMW, uh, you know, the people that make Mercedes Benz. So these are big names. They're big multinationals. I still think the average investor out there should look at an ETF where you can buy the basket. Okay. I call it the Fez, ticker symbols FEZ. And as if that ain't far enough out there in terms of a risky investment, you're actually looking to Spain and Italy, not this year, but maybe for 2013, right? I'm hoping and praying that the big play this time next year is going to be Spain and Italy, and I'll tell you why. Take a look at, you don't actually have to do this, but Russia and Argentina back in the 90s. Those countries got slaughtered 80, 90 percent. I think the core European countries are going to do fine. But if Spain and Italy really implode like a lot of people think, mm -hmm. I think that we may have an opportunity to buy it at 80 percent less than what it is now. I think it can make you a lot of money, but you've got to be patient, and it's not today. Hey, buy the whole country. <laughs> hey, you could probably do that. Thank you so much. Good. Lee Munson, could do it. Portfolio LLC. Good to see you.